Good morning. Welcome to the morning session. So we've been talking about this question about happiness, whether it is our innate nature or is it something that is an influence from outside. And depending on what we see it as, we make effort. So if it is within us, then we make effort to look within. But if we think that it is something to get from outside, then we make effort to try to get it from outside. And when we talk of happiness also, what exactly is this happiness? How would you define it or what would you say about it? So when we talked about that, we had mentioned two things about that state of happiness. That when there is harmony in my state, so we had said the state or situation in which I live, when there is harmony in it, then it is naturally acceptable to me to be in that state or situation. And I want to continue to be in that state. That is a state when I'm calm, when I'm comfortable. So this harmony, this is um, what is happiness. So two things there, one is that it, there is harmony. Harmony meaning what? My imagination is in line with my natural acceptance. So if I refer to my natural acceptance, I can see that I am calm, comfortable, in harmony, or I am in disharmony. And we'll be able to see that whenever I'm calm and comfortable, I want to continue to be in that state of harmony. But whenever there is some disturbance, some contradiction, some disharmony, I want to come out of it because I am not happy. So that is our guide or compass within that we keep referring to. But when we are busy looking outside and not paying attention inside, we keep shifting from happiness to unhappiness based on the situation outside. Because we are tending to move towards this trying to get happiness from outside. And that's because we are not able to see this happiness within because we haven't been paying attention within. So now we can start paying attention within. And that ability is there in each and every one of us. The potential is there. Rather than say ability, I should say the potential is there we may not have been able to um, get to that potential yet, but that possibility is definitely there for each and every one of us. So these were, you know, if you look in the, on the screen in front of you, some ways that we have of trying to look for happiness. So one can be, right understanding and right feeling within myself. The other can be to try to get happiness through either the sensation, through the sense organs of the body or through some uh, right feeling from somebody else, another human being. 
so we were reading about this we were talking about this <coughs> that if i have the right understanding of the harmony at all the levels and with that i have the right feeling within me then there is a possibility of continuity for this because it is up to me this feeling and so there can be continuity of this happiness within me and that is my innate nature i can see that because any time that there is a disturbance within me i don't feel comfortable so you can see that this is my innate nature that is why any time i move away from it i feel unhappy but when i'm trying to when i don't see this happiness within and i'm trying to get this happiness from outside now how am i going to see it as continuous it's almost an impossible task isn't it because you try doing it through physical facility you find that the sense organs the you know the sensation that you read from the sense organs so if you are talking about some taste of a sweet or a taste of some food that you like then you are uh, constantly trying to see how to prolong it because if you are looking for happiness outside that taste is only going to give happiness as long as the food is on the tongue once the food goes down into the throat now it is no longer giving that so called happiness through taste so if you want to try to keep getting it through this we have to keep eating and of course you cannot keep doing that isn't it there is an impossible situation so you end up you know not getting this happiness in continuity and in fact after you finish eating there may even be some remorse some guilt some feeling that i should not have done this or um that itself is creating the disturbance within me and then later after that the consequences of that action also come before me because if i eat in a way that it is you know if i eat food that is not nurturing for the body then definitely that harm that it causes to the body as a consequence i would have to um deal with it similarly if we look at you know trying to get the right feeling from another human being again you know continuity is not possible because now you are depending on another human being so you are depending on their whims and fancies so if you are in a good mood they may have the right feeling for you if they are not in a so called good mood then they may not have the right feeling for you and there are so many people we interact with for each and every human being to have the right feeling towards us at every moment how is it possible so again no continuity so this constant you know the the entire day we take so many decisions so we can start looking at all of our decision making and see whether we are trying to work for right understanding and right feeling within or we are working towards getting this favorable feeling from others or trying to get happiness through 
sensation, and so on. So if we look at Um, could we have the next slide? Yes. Then we talked a little bit about prosperity. The prosperity, uh, the feeling of having more than required physical facility is termed prosperity. We have heard this in the workshop also. We talked briefly about it yesterday. So to be able to see, first of all, how much physical facility is required. For instance, if we look at food. So food is required for the body. And the amount of food that is required for the body is limited. After all, what are we trying to do with the food? We are trying to nurture the body. And for the body to be nurtured, some amount of food is required. It may vary a little bit from person to person, but ultimately it is limited. It's not that you need an unlimited quantity of food. So now, if I can see that the food, the the purpose of the food is to nurture the body, then accordingly I will try to have that much which is required for the body and not more. But if I'm trying to get that happiness through the taste, now I may have more and more and more of that food in an effort to get that happiness in continuity. And it's not going to happen. So I keep having more and more and more in search of happiness without that realization that this happiness, if I keep trying to get it from outside, it's not going to happen in continuity. So with that, if I keep eating that food, even if it may be nourishing food, if I eat too much, I cannot digest it. The body cannot digest it. And therefore that leads to, it harms the body. So you have so many health issues. So if we see like this, any physical facility we need we need only for the body and if we see this and we understand how much is required then we can ensure that we have a little more than required that more like we keep saying is so that we can share with others And when we do have it, we feel, yes, we have enough. Now I need not keep trying to work for more and more and more and more. Otherwise, there will be no completion point because if you're trying to look for happiness through that physical facility, it, there will never be a continuity possible. And we try to see that through the food, tasty food, eating tasty food. So the responsibility of the self towards the body, that you know, feeling of self-regulation, that sense of responsibility to nurture the body, to protect the body, and to rightly utilize the body. For that, we need the food and the other physical facility. And this is required in a limited quantity, so we can um, 
have a good understanding about how much is required and then work towards having that much or a little more than that. And then we can feel that we have enough. Then we don't have to keep working for more and more and more. So although this is a very, it seems so obvious, yet there are so many times in our day-to-day -day life where we may be making decisions to the contrary. And we can take sharings um, from you also, whether you are able to see this, that in our day-to-day -day life, very often we make decisions to the contrary, that we are trying to acquire more and more physical facility. And at the same time, if we see deep within us, we can see that we may be looking for happiness outside. And that is why we tend to get into this cycle of trying to acquire more and more. So um, we still have some hands raised. Today we will um, complete this part of the topic and then tomorrow we will do a recap of, um, again, this for the next several days, we will be doing recaps of what we have already seen in the workshop so that we can it can be easier for us when we start the exercises. Also, um, um, it has already been said in the Hindi session. I just want to mention it here also in the English session that it will be good if we can all spend some time every day just by ourselves when we are not busy with other activities, when we are just um, able to pay attention to ourselves. And whatever we are doing, like for today, we are talking about prosperity. We are talking about, you know, happiness, where we are looking for happiness. So in our so many decisions during the day that we are making, you know, what is the basis of that decision we are making? For instance, just simple things like even what, what you are eating or how you are talking to another person. You know, if the other person says something to you at work, somebody says something harsh or loudly, what am I feeling inside? Am I comfortable? Am I uncomfortable? And what is my natural acceptance? So, Simple things, if we can refer to our natural acceptance, say, no? many times during the day, you will find that it is leading to more awareness, more becoming conscious of this referring facility within us. And when we actually get to the exercise one and two, this will help in that process. Because right now what happens is we are so used to looking outside that we don't want to be by ourselves. If we are be by ourselves, we get fidgety, we put on music, or we you know, look at the phone or something like that. So if we can just sit by ourselves without the phone, without TV, without music, just try to pay attention to yourself. It can be any time of day, whichever time is convenient to you. Often you can, you know, sometimes it is good to reflect in the night also that you can, you know, early morning is one time, night is another. Early morning, you know, for the day, you can plan your day. Today, you know, I am going to refer to my natural acceptance, whatever it is. And at night, you can look back at the day and see whether you have been able to 
achieve what you planned for the day. So just to be by yourself, that um, without any external type of stimulation, can we do that? We can start from today, even if we haven't done it before. Slowly we will find that our comfort level of just being by ourselves increases. While earlier we may have been very fidgety and restless and even now if we start trying to practice this, we may find that we are very fidgety and we want to get up or we want to do something or we think of eating or whatever it is. So if we start that practice, we may find that we start becoming calmer and being able to just sit by ourselves and observe. So maybe this we can try to see for today as an assignment. It's almost time now. It is time now. So very quickly, we'll just uh, try to look at this as an assignment for today. That am I avoiding people or avoiding saying things to somebody because of this thing that uh, it disturbs if uh, or the other person disturbs me? Am I avoiding people or am I avoiding saying things to people because of this fear that there will be more disturbance? Because if I am doing that, then I need to also check my feeling towards the other person and see, am I feeling comfortable with that or am I uncomfortable? And we'll discuss this tomorrow.